In this video, let's talk about how play can make you feel better mentally and physically. All right, so if you're new here, I'm Dan Blewett. I'm the author of four books. I'm a YouTuber, and I'm also a former pro baseball player. And one of the things that I came to realize personally during the pandemic and thereafter, especially after I retired from baseball, which is a couple years ago now, is that when you're used to moving your body a lot, like I was as an athlete, and then you suddenly lose that because either as an adult you get too busy or you prioritize other things, you can really start to feel not yourself, both physically and mentally. And I think one of the things that we can get back for our health and for our long-term happiness is by getting out there and playing. And that can look a lot different than just going to the gym or just going to, for a jog or jumping on the stationary bike. So let's talk about what play can look like and what kind of benefits it can have for you. So first of all, play can mean a lot of different things. And to me, it means I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna kick a soccer ball around or I'm gonna chase a Frisbee down with a friend or maybe you wanna run around with a kite or play pickleball or play cornhole. It doesn't matter what it is. And I think the more physical, the better. Number one, I think it's important to understand that where we came from was a place of hunting and gathering and doing chores and you know cultivating the land to grow food. There was a lot of physicality built into everyday life for most of human existence. Today, fitness and a lot of the knowledge work, you know, the computer work and, and desk work that we do is really unique and it's really only existed in a tiny sliver of human history. So this is the first time ever that we're really able to just sit still and be sedentary and not move around and get fat and get unhealthy if we want to, because we can just go to the grocery store. Everything is sort of at our, at our disposal, right? We don't have to go out and climb a tree for apples or till the fields all day to have corn to make bread, you know, all winter. And so we really have to choose getting outside and just fitness in general, but we also have to choose to be light on our feet and to move out and play like we did as kids, which keeps us happy and healthy. So I think one of the big ways to think about this is moving your body three dimensionally. I need to do my fitness. I need to do my workouts in the gym. I want to stay strong and look a certain way, but I also just need to run around and zigzag and like run routes and just not care what I'm doing, not count calories, not time my what I'm doing, but just go out there and be under the sun, be in the grass, move in three dimensions, and just doing something that isn't task oriented, that's not practice, that's not a workout that I have to do. It's a thing that I choose to do. And that's, I think, one of the big things here is choosing play, choosing this joy of moving your body in a kind of random way, the way you choose to move it. But I'll leave you with a story. One of my favorite old TV shows is The Twilight Zone. And there's an episode called Kick the Can. And in it, there's two old men who have been lifelong friends and they're in an old folks home. The one man is old and curmudgeon and he just sort of accepts that he's old and you know, he, his life is now just waking up, having breakfast, having dinner, going to bed and just sort of being this curmudgeon. And the other one is really lively and he doesn't want to be old. He wants to go out and do things and still experience the world and he rejects being in this old folks home and he rejects the idea that he can't be, still be youthful and do kid kind of things. In his search for feeling excited and, and feeling youthful and not just being an old person stuck in an old person's home, he rallies all the people in the old folks home. And he says, I think the, se the secret to staying young is playing kids games. Will you all join me in a game of kick the can? And if you don't know what kick the can is, where you have a literally a, a tin can and the kids run around, I think you have to go back and kick it. And if you kick it, then you win and then you become whatever. But anyway, it's really just a game of like hide and seek running around and all this sort of stuff. So he organizes all the other old people. They agree that, like, okay, we'll do this one night. Whereas his curmudgeon friend does not want to do it. So the night comes and they all go out and they're out in the yard and the curmudgeon wakes up and he goes, Ugh, and he runs and gets the orderlies. And he says, you got to get these old people back in their beds. They're going to hurt themselves. They're old. They shouldn't be running around playing like this. The orderlies, they rush out to get these old people so they don't hurt themselves. And what they find down the lawn is just a bunch of kids playing kick the can. And at that point, the curmudgeon looks at one of them and he realized what's happened. And this is the plot twist of the Twilight Zone, right? Twilight Zone is about like magic and um, just unexplainable things happening. And in this case, kicking, kicking the can, playing kick the can actually made these old people turn into kids. And so the old guy, the curmudgeon sees his friend, he says, and he realizes the air that he should have gone along with it. He says, take me with you. And the kid just looks at him and runs off into the, dis into the distance. So I think it's a great metaphor. It's an amazing story. And I think there's a lot of truth to it that play keeps us young. It keeps us 
physically healthy, mentally healthy. So if that's something that's not a part of your life right now, really think about it. Grab a friend or just go out by yourself and do something that's fun, that makes you smile, that gets you moving and connected to the earth and connected to your body. So if you're not sure what you need to do to get out and play more, look to some local charities and organizations. There's more and more efforts being made to help encourage people to go out and play. I'm volunteering for one, it's called Let's Play America here in the DC area, and there's others all over the country, all over the world, so definitely check that out. If you have any questions, leave one in the comments below, and let me know, what do you like to do to go out and play? Leave it below, and I'll see you here in the next video.